morning to you all, good afternoon, good night, wherever you're watching me from. If it's your first time of watching my video, please subscribe, make it go viral. This message is my, it's my fellow Nigerians. In fact, I'm angry in the spirit. It is high time that we, the Nigerians, will vote wisely this time around. Don't go and vote for the man that will take Nigeria backward. Nigeria need to go forward. In fact, it's a high time that the youth have to take the post. Hmm? Are we not tired of all this? Are we not tired of, uh, of are we not tired of these old men? In fact, vote wisely. Vote for Peter Obi. In fact, and making it open. Peter Obi is a light man. Share this video, make it go viral. In fact, watch this video I'm about to show you now. How can old man who come and lead, lead, lead us with the young, young youth? They say the youth are the leaders of tomorrow. They want to turn it around and say that the old men are leaders of tomorrow. The youth. I'm talking to, to you all. I'm a youth. In fact, we should vote wiser in this, this time around. It is high time. I'm very, very angry. Watch this video. Watch this video now. You will know if you go and vote for these old people. Vote for Pitobi. Take away from their recruitment source. What do we eat? Cassava, Agbado, corn, and the morning. Uh, yam in the afternoon is growing here. Yeah. You create demand and consumption. You know that Nigeria is not for over five million uh, army of uh, boot camps. We create our food. I mean, that's money for the farmers. That's consumption. They have left to be. For the soldiers and skill development. Don't call them by religion, so don't talk we about don't it. We it. Anybody who can own gun, who can handle gun, who can cook gun and create components, whether they are states, whether they are regions, whether they are zones, whatever people want to call them, that's their own business. And I'm also not going to enrich members of my family, but my friends. Are my friends not entitled to be enriched? <laughs> as long as there is no element of corruption there. And there was none during our time when we privatized the banks, when we privatized institutions of the private sector. I, don't, I have not had a story of anybody coming to say, either the president or myself, took money to do that. They have left you behind. So, the You are a failure. Of you are a failure. You, can you can never make it. Economy. You can never. You know you cannot make it. You are a failure. You can never make it. of driving the You can never. You know you cannot make it. We have no reason to be in Abuja. They consider their problems to the traveling public. They follow me to Abuja. I'm the one who is going to go to a meeting because the idol and the hotel, they eat more. So I have a lot of bills to pay. In the end, every trip was costing me, every trip was costing me over 10 million. One trip. And at times I do this four or five times in a month. So after the fourth, after the fourth, after about the third or fourth trip, I sat down and said, I want you to write the name of everybody from me and tell me why and what is the purpose of this person going to be in Abuja. <laughs> and what did I do? What, what, what happened? What did I do? When they finish, I found out the only person that needs to go to Abuja is me. So I said to them, leave it.
because some of you must have heard Peter be travels alone. No, because the other people, I don't need them in Abuja. I give you an example. If I was taking police from Waka to Abuja, there might be about 12, 20, 15 security men. And then each time I go, let me use today's pricing. One ticket, one way, is about 30,000. Coming back is 30,000. I found out that I can talk to the IG then or Novo. I said, Novo, when I'm in Abuja, give me three policemen. The other person, give me two. When I'm going, I give them 5,000, 5, which is not up to the ticket of one person going. I said, good principle. So, nobody. So, nobody. Nobody followed me to Abuja. One minute because my time is going on. Nobody, nobody followed me to Abuja. So when I call, the people say, hey, ah, Peter B is traveling on his own, he's carrying his bag. I'm a young man, I can carry my bag. What is the, the proposition? And I told them, I said, listen, this is not a problem I started from here. I had this problem while I was in the bank. So I know, and I'll tell you that experience. So I said, that stopped. The house had to question me at the end of, there was a time they wanted to go to what they call the World Evil Congress in America. And they showed me that my, somebody before me had gone with 40 million. And they, they said they reduced my own, it's 32 million. I said to the PAMSEC, can you write me what is the implication of this, the Anambra State? Nothing. He just kept telling me they have reduced it. I said, no, 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 no. Well, well let one person go. Whatever the was in America discuss. They can tell us by this thing. We now change. We came to the government house. When I started being a governor, no, no permanent secretary in Anambra State had a car. The judges, the judges didn't have a car. And meanwhile, there's in the budget provided there, there's a 150 million naira for the government to buy two bulletproof cars for the governor. I said, okay, fine, it's good. I took it, called one Mr. Eric, who was then the GM of PAN, with Onye Muchen Namani, and said, listen, I want you people, I want you people to do me a favor. I want to buy, they used to sell Peugeot 406, 3.7 million. I said, I want to buy about 100. So you sell it to me, 3 million. The Frenchman agreed with me, so I took the 150, gave him my deposit, he gave me the first 50 vehicles, I had 18 judges, so 18. I had three, I had permanent secretaries, 19, so 19. The governor will keep 10. So all my, all my first tenor, if you are around Docker, I used 406. And nobody kidnapped me, nobody shot me, and we saved that money. We had, some of you might have, have I was removed from office twice, because he was talking about sharing money. And I can tell you why I was removed from office. It's all part of this. When I was starting, Anambra State Government House was burnt. Because when I said where we are going to save money, I want to tell you how we saved it, and how we were able to be the only government that left and didn't borrow money from anybody. He stayed safe. When, when Anambra State, in 2004, the Anambra government, governor's house was burnt, the government, governor's lodge, as well as the government house. Coincidentally, in 2006 when I started, the budget to repair the, governor, the government house was 298 million. The government, to repair the governor's lodge was 481 million. These are the two reasons why I was impeached. The third was saving money without permission. And I said to them, wait a minute. I repaired everything in the governor's, in the government house, this is governor's office. I repaired everything with 41, 43 million, 200,000. The only thing I didn't buy new, the only thing I didn't buy new was furniture. 
because there's a table used by my one of my predecessors that was kept somewhere and they say it's old but i called the man the furniture man said if you wipe this it will deep in it i just don't say you are right where's it to buy a new one why are we buying a new one the governor's lodge the governor's lodge i had a point i want you to tell i'm no longer the governor so these are things you can verify the governor's lodge which was a budget of 486 million i repaired everything with 80, 81 million seven hundred thousand in both of them because the contract was awarded before i came they said i did it without passing through the due process because i have awarded the contract and i said no obasan joe as president because one of the things that i did is that we had a governor's lodge in lagos we had a governor's lodge in abuja we had all over 60 workers in abuja and i asked them where will governor of anambra state have a lodge in lagos why will he have a lodge in abuja does he live in abuja what is he doing in abuja you know what they wrote me every other government have it i said that's not what i asked why are we having to have a lodge in abuja i don't live there each time i go to abuja the cook there we will need to give him about thirty thousand to cook and i said cook you're going back to Oka. It costs, it costs 5,000 naira to eat buffet a Hilton and you charge me that here. So what are you cooking here? You must go back to Oka. You know. And people say, and people will tell me, oh no. People will say, hey, wait a minute. I said, cook, you must go. I shut down. As I lived at our governor's lodge here for 25 years, shut down our governor's lodge in Abuja. Everybody said to me, Peter, you can't do without governor's lodge. I didn't do, I didn't have one for eight years because it was not necessary. I told everybody who was there, we had almost 15 drivers in Abuja. When I'm at the airport, everybody's there because it's getting confusion. I said, listen, we need three drivers in Abuja. The rest will either have to go and look for work or come to Oka. we don't live in Abuja and everything and this Obasanja wanted to come to Anambra state every state you go today they have what they call presidential lodge and they said we, we have started building one for almost half a billion naira I stopped it Obasanja wanted to come to Anambra state and they said we don't. I went to them and said listen tell Mr. President he can come in the morning and go in the evening we don't need him to sleep. One, we don't need him to sleep. They said, no, 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 no. They said, no, 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 he must sleep. He must sleep. I said, okay. Let's not worry about it. I went to him. The day I'm telling you what's up. I went to him. He came in October, end of October, 2006. I went to him. I said to the chief of staff, I said, tell him, please, he can come in the morning. He said, no, no, he must sleep. He's doing this. I said, okay, no problem. I called the chief say, since he cannot stay in a hotel, and he must sleep, come and see where I live. <laughs> this is where I live. If this place is okay for him, I will give you the key for one month. Then I will go. When he goes, they were very nice to me. I can tell they were very nice. They said to me, we need it for only one week. So I came back and told my dear wife, she's the only one who has property there. I said, bring out your thing. The president is going to sleep in this room, in this room. We are going to give them the key. I went across to a hotel called Pactonia. The man charges 30,000 per suite. For that one week, you know how much he charged me? 100,000. That is what I would have spent 500,000. So, Obasanjo came on Thursday, stayed Thursday, Friday, Saturday, he left. They gave me back my key. And I said 500 million, which I would have used to do the lodge, I would have been maintaining it by now. So, Anambra State does not have a presidential lodge, because the president doesn't live in Anambra State. He lives in Abuja. They said, they told me, they told me that I don't have, they wanted a car. They said to me, oh, you must have a treated car. A, 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 a bulletproof car that the president and his people can use I said I don't have 
Bring your motto here. <laughs> All I will tell you is that I will not, if you want, I will enter it. But I will not, I don't have anything. They argued and argued and argued. Luckily for me, I have a neighboring state that bought that type of car. I said, okay. I go to this state and ask them to bring their car here. When you people go, they carry their vehicle. I don't have, and I won't buy it. What am I trying to say? You can do all this. You can save all this money. There's so much waste in our system. And we all tolerate it. People tell you today, hard people. Yes, I've quarreled with people. People who say they come and do courtesy call. That was how I was telling Prof. I was quarreling with people. Somebody said he wants to do courtesy call. He wrote me a letter. As he's going, my protocol people come and say, Hey, or, or God, this is bishop, or this, uh, or this um, chief, welcome now. I said, what? He said, we'll give him something. I said, ah, the man just wants to say he wants to see me. Now you have seen this, right? Forget about Ghana must go back. Forget about your selfishness. Think about tomorrow. Cast your vote wisely. We must spread this message everywhere. Spread this video. Share this video. God bless you.